Uh, well, you can imagine that uh, we have uh, till now about 80% of the Yazidi community are refugees, especially who are, who are coming from Sinjar, are refugees and IDPs in different um, uh, refugee camps, especially in northern Iraq. We have more than 300,000 uh, refugees uh, in the tent where um, many families are using the same kitchen, the same uh, toilet groups and they are very small tents close to each other and uh, so there is no privacy from the beginning so even you cannot make social distance, uh, distancing between those people. We have also uh, many uh, refugees who escaped from Iraq and are in different countries including Greece and their situation is very bad so from the from all the medical and, and health uh, guidelines, they cannot implement any of them because they cannot protect themselves, not the cleaning, not the, they have not enough water, they have not enough uh, uh, the instruments to protect themselves. The situation is miserable. Unfortunately, we we had to stop many of our activities. For example, we had to send some um, children to to Armenia for the treatment. We couldn't send them because of the corona. We had a collaboration with Italy. One of our children ha had to be so not only the Yazidis actually. So we we as the Airbridge Iraq is a humanitarian organization that helps um, the children, especially and women who are victimized by uh, terror or who are sick and the treatment in Iraq is not uh, uh, offered. So we had actually different missions during the spring 2020 and unfortunately we had to stop all of these besides many other activity and lectures, seminars that I had to attend. We have postponed all of them. Uh, it is um, It has affected because especially Airbridge Iraq is an NGO that uh, brings the children and women to abroad, so we need to travel, and this was the biggest problem that uh, we had. I think today humanism and humanitarian work is the most important work that we have. We have uh, we have to strengthen the human values in the human being. Unfortunately, after this crisis, it's just like a shock in all countries. We see that the, all countries they have and the people, nations, they restricted the rules and they are, uh, co they are closing the borders to each other. Today, we need the uh, humanitarian engagement. We need human values to strengthen these values among the human being in all over the world to survive this crisis. This is the most important that we need today. Great, thank you so much for these words and uh, we wish you lots of luck and success in all your efforts and everyone listening to us, good health and strength for the next few years. You too, thank you very much.